For years, Planet Nine has existed only as a powerful idea, supported by math, but missing one critical thing, a real object in the sky. That may have just changed. New research suggests scientists may have identified a genuine candidate hiding in archival space data. This video explores what was found, how it was uncovered, why it matters now, and what this discovery could finally teach us about the outermost frontier of our solar system. For the first time, the Planet Nine hunt may have crossed a crucial line from theoretical predictions to a tangible object that can actually be pointed to in the sky. Researchers analyzing archival infrared data have identified a faint source that behaves exactly like an ultra-distant solar system body, rather than a background star or galaxy. Unlike previous hints based purely on orbital statistics, this finding centers on a single object that appears to move slowly across the sky over many years. What makes this discovery stand out is the nature of the data itself. The candidate was detected in infrared surveys conducted decades apart, allowing scientists to compare its position at different times. Stars and galaxies remain fixed relative to one another, but nearby solar system objects drift subtly. This source did exactly that shifting by an amount consistent with a massive body located hundreds of astronomical units from the Sun. The object's faint infrared signature also fits long-standing predictions for Planet Nine. At such extreme distances, sunlight is weak, making reflected light almost impossible to detect with optical telescopes. Instead, a cold planet would glow faintly in infrared wavelengths, radiating residual heat left over from its formation. That is precisely where this candidate appears barely visible, incredibly cold, and far beyond Neptune. Crucially, this is not being presented as definitive proof. The researchers themselves emphasize caution, describing the object as a candidate rather than a confirmed planet. But that restraint is exactly what gives the result weight. Instead of bold claims, the study offers something far more valuable, a testable target. For the first time, Planet Nine is no longer just a gravitational ghost inferred from disturbed orbits. It may have a real location, opening the door to direct follow-up observations and moving the mystery into an entirely new phase. What's especially striking about this discovery is that it didn't require a brand new telescope or mission. Instead, it came from reanalyzing data that had been sitting in archives for years, even decades. This highlights a quiet revolution in astronomy. Sometimes progress doesn't come from looking deeper, but from looking smarter. Planet Nine has always been a difficult target because of its expected temperature and distance. At hundreds of times farther from the Sun than Earth, any planet there would be incredibly cold just a few tens of degrees above absolute zero. That makes it nearly invisible in visible light, which is why traditional sky surveys struggled to find it. Infrared surveys, however, are sensitive to heat rather than reflected sunlight, making them uniquely suited for this task. The breakthrough came from comparing infrared sky maps taken by different space telescopes at different times. By carefully aligning these datasets and searching for objects that change position, researchers could isolate slow-moving sources that wouldn't stand out in a single snapshot. This process is technically demanding because faint infrared signals are easily confused with noise, instrumental artifacts, or distant galaxies. What makes this approach powerful is its time baseline. When observations are separated by many years, even an extremely distant planet will betray itself through motion. The candidate object's shift matches what would be expected from a massive body orbiting far beyond Neptune, rather than something much closer or vastly farther away. This method transforms the Planet Nine's search from speculation into a systematic hunt. Instead of scanning blindly, scientists can now identify specific candidates and test them with modern instruments. It also shows how valuable archival data can be when paired with improved analysis techniques. In a sense, Planet Nine may have been recorded long ago, we just lack the conceptual and computational tools to recognize it. What truly elevates this candidate from curiosity to serious contender is how well it aligns with independent predictions about Planet Nine's behavior and location. Long before any candidate was proposed, Dynamical models suggested that a distant massive planet could explain the strange clustering of extreme transneptunian objects. Their orbits appear oddly aligned, stretched, and tilted in ways that are difficult to explain without an unseen gravitational influence. 
The candidate object falls within the broad region of the sky, where many of these models predict Planet 9 could reside. Its inferred distance and brightness are also consistent with a planet several times more massive than Earth, orbiting on a long, elongated path. While uncertainties remain, the overlap between prediction and observation is difficult to ignore. Importantly, this discovery doesn't replace earlier evidence it complements it. Orbital anomalies suggested something was out there. Infrared analysis now suggests where it might be. That convergence is rare in planetary science and signals a maturing hypothesis rather than a speculative one. At the same time, the researchers are clear about what this finding does not yet prove. The object's orbit is not fully known, and its mass remains an estimate. Follow-up observations are essential to confirm whether it truly belongs to our solar system and whether its gravitational influence matches what models require. But that's precisely why this moment matters. Science advances fastest when a theory becomes falsifiable, and this candidate finally allows that test. Even if future observations show this object is not Planet 9, the method itself has changed the search permanently. Scientists now know how to systematically look for cold, distant planets using time-separated infrared data. That lesson alone reshapes how we explore the outer solar system and increases the odds that Planet 9 or something equally surprising will eventually be found. This possible Planet 9 candidate marks a real shift in a mystery that has lingered for years. For the first time, scientists are no longer chasing only mathematical shadows, but investigating a specific object that can be tested, tracked, and confirmed. Whether this body turns out to be Planet 9 or not, the discovery proves that the tools and methods now exist to explore the solar system's most distant regions properly. It also reminds us that our cosmic neighborhood is still full of surprises. The search is no longer theoretical, it has entered its most exciting and decisive phase yet. Thanks for watching.